if you want to understand how the Bitcoin will perform in uh, October and the rest of the Q4 2021, stay back, relax, and enjoy the crypto journey with me because I'll be going to talk about that. Hey, hi guys. Uh, my name is Yash Dhankar. I'm the founder of Acknowledge and Bitgini. And today I'm going to talk about the Bitcoin, how it's going to do in the rest of the Q4 2021. And also especially the October month and why you should keep a close watch on Bitcoin. So there are a lot of altcoins that are doing exceptionally well. But I think Bitcoin is something that you should be, you know, holding a good position right now. So uh, where we are here. If you see, uh, let me just quickly look at the daily chart of bitcoin if you see uh the bitcoin you know uh, I, I told everyone that uh, there's a resistance that is there like around 50k so once we break this uh you know there's no looking back and bitcoin went like literally 54k uh, uh and i also my long is still open personally like uh, i think it it looks really well uh and real bitcoin is looking uh, really strong here right now and I think after that, once you break this 54k, then the next will be at 64k, and then there's no st stopping. I think then it can go 70, 80k, it will just fly. Okay, and this will happen soon. There will be a little bit of correction, but the daily chart looks really bullish. All the exponential monthly averages and everything is looking perfect. And even if you see the small time frames like four hours, it's still looking bullish. Okay, and even on uh, hourly, like short term, there's a little bit of correction, or you know, it will go sideways mostly, but I think it will kick start again soon i think uh, on weekends it's a little bit tricky so be careful on weekends okay uh kind of a market tends to correct on weekends usually uh this is, has been this has been the pattern and if you see the overall market the market you know it started taking off like the market cap of bitcoin right uh, the total market cap of the crypto is 2.3 trillion dollars and the bitcoin dominance is 44.3 percent which has increased from 41 percent and let's talk a little bit about Bitcoin dominance because Bitcoin is something that you should keep a close watch in December. Okay, at least for the first few weeks, like at, uh, I think throughout, like I think the next week also and the coming week because the money is flowing in Bitcoin right now. You can see uh, this is the daily chart of the Bitcoin dominance. So uh, when the, during uh, the early season start, when the Bitcoin dominance goes below 40%, okay, like 40 like when it's at 33, 35%, that is the peak of the bull market. Okay. And that's where you need to cash out. Okay. So you need to be careful with that. Like, and if you see the, this is the daily chart, by the way, of the Bitcoin dominance. As you see the weekly, I'll just show you kind of the historical data. Like in 2018, like, you know, you can see that the Bitcoin dominance, it went like really, really low. So that was the peak of the bull market. Okay. And uh, so this is what will happen uh, here itself. Okay. So the Bitcoin dominance, you know, kind of trying to is sitting under support of 40, but it will go down. But now before going down, it will rise. Okay. It will rise. And then I think uh, it will increase to, I think 40 to 50, 50% per, uh, around. And then uh, the money will start playing in Bitcoin. And then uh, once the money uh, Bitcoin is done, Bitcoin will go sideways and then that money will flow in altcoins. So altcoin will fly during that time and that's really a bullish sign. But if you see the weekly, we have, you know, started, uh, there's a uh, uptrend in the Bitcoin dominance. So the Bitcoin dominance is increasing. If you see the daily chart of the Bitcoin dominance, uh, it has started increasing. Okay, like it's going up. Uh, I, I think it was still start going like i think it can go to 50 percent as well so keep a close watch on bitcoin uh hold bitcoin uh a good amount of bitcoin okay so uh i am usually never recommend i never i usually never recommend uh holding bitcoins but this time i am so there's a reason behind it okay and even uh so one only one concern i have right now is the bitcoin longs are decreasing i think uh people are uh so let's look at the bitcoin shorts as well Yes. So shorts are, there's no rise in the shorts. That's a good thing. So I think, but longs are decreasing. That is a little bit concerning because uh, usually uh, it's correlated, but again, let's see how the market does, but I'm pretty bullish on Bitcoin right now. And you should be too, because uh, the reason being is uh, I think the ETFs are getting approved and a lot of money will start flowing in Bitcoin soon. 
and that will bring in and i think uh, we can touch like uh, 100k is quite possible if we may touch 120 150k bitcoin also so i'm pretty uh, bullish on that part so let's see how the overall market performs i'll be also releasing a lot of new videos and before doing that guys do like share subscribe and leave your comments what do you want to see next I'll be sharing some really interesting videos. I'll talk about uh, the altcoins as well. Some of the altcoins and new projects that are coming. And uh, keep close watch on gaming NFTs and metaverses. This quarter is going to be amazing, right? And uh, also uh, keep a close watch on uh, Polkadot ecosystem. Uh, I, I think a lot of parachains will be launched and parachain auctions will start soon. So uh, you need to look at them as well. Uh, but again, I'll launch a separate video on that part as well. And uh, one of my favorite coin, Phantom, is doing amazing. I think Phantom has a potential to go $10. It's sitting at around $2 right now. Uh, keep accumulating that. And Shibu Inu performed exceptionally well. The reason being is uh, Shibu, uh, I think uh, there's one whale who bought around $43 uh, million worth of uh, Shibu Inu. And the whale has been buying since uh, October uh, 1st. Okay, so, uh, but again, I think uh, it will not last long. we will correct. I think, but that will kind of, you know, uh, Dogecoin has got some attention due to that. So keep a close eye on Doge as well. So it will also fly. And Polkadot, yeah. Polkadot is absolutely gold. So uh, yeah, keep watch on this coins and I think they'll do amazing. So yeah, that's my takeoff for this week, guys. Uh, BTC is something that you should be holding right now. And be careful also. Uh, altcoins, a little bit careful. Uh, because when the BTC start pumping, uh, alts will bleed or they will go sideways. Okay, so yeah. That's about for this week and I'll be sharing a few more videos. Stay tuned. Uh, I'll try to uh, kind of do a lot of things, but what's happening is Acknowledger is going to launch soon. So your token is going to go live. So yeah, I'm pretty excited and pretty occupied due to that. So didn't get uh, much time to do that, but trust me, uh, some really interesting things will be happening soon. And yeah, uh, even for the community, I'll be doing something really interesting. So stay tuned, sit back, relax and enjoy the crypto journey with me. Like, share, subscribe and hit that uh, you know bell icon and leave the comments what you want to see next okay on this note i'll end this video and thanks a lot for joining today yeah and uh, we are all going to make it guys we are all going to make it so see you in the next week again bye, -bye. take care